One of the nice things about a piano is that all the low notes are down the bottom and the high notes are up at the top, not like a trumpet. And, of course, all the low notes have long strings and the high notes have short strings, which makes it sort of easy to see what's going on, especially when you make a piano. Well, the thumb piano was originally an African instrument and it was made with little metal prongs, a bit like the comb inside a uh, musical box. It's a bit hard to work with metal, so we're going to make one out of ice cream sticks, which work not as well, but they're much easier to work with. In fact, that's what we're going to make, a sort of sandwich, really, of ice cream sticks between two pieces of wood. And to do that, you really have to start with two pieces of wood that are quite thick and quite strong and the same size. And that's what I've got here. And the sandwiching is done by winching them together with bolts. And, of course, you need holes for the bolts to go through. It's best, I suppose, if you can drill holes, but you may not be allowed to use a drill, or you may not have a drill to use. So, here's another way. First of all, I've shown how you'd put a drill through there. You'd put the two pieces of wood together in a vise and drill straight through. But if you can't do that, do this instead. Get a saw and make one cut here, like that, a bit over halfway through, then another cut just here. And that means that when you've cut, again, just over halfway through, you can snap out that wood and leave a slot there. And you can see when I take those two out of the vise like this, that slot is just a bit wider than the bolt that I'm going to use, which will go down inside that and is going to be long enough to go through both the pieces of wood and be done up on the other side. Well, in fact, that slot works so well, I'm going to chuck those away and get on with this one. Well, if you just use a bolt like that, the danger is it can pull through the wood. So you want to spread the load. You do that with washers. Get a washer that fits, shove it over the bolt like that. Then you can pull that through the slot, make sure the two pieces of wood are lined up beautifully. Then at the top, put another load spreading washer like that. And you can use a nut, but that requires a spanner. So I think the best thing to do is to go along to the hardware store and get a wing nut. You can do that with your thumb and finger. That one only cost me six cents. They're not expensive. And you'll need one at the other end too. But before you do them up, you feed in the things that make the noise. And they're the ice cream sticks. Here we go, in to make the sort of filling in the sandwich. Put as many as will fit there. And of course, if your piano is very long, you might need another bolt in the middle. But uh, you'll soon see how it works by trial and error. Well, that would take a long time to do, so I'll go to one that's already finished. And here it is, not with wing nuts, but with ordinary nuts that have been done up with a spanner. And you can see the low notes are here with the long sticks, the high notes there with the short ones. They don't go evenly up, partly because I haven't got an even scale, and partly because the sticks themselves are of different thicknesses, and that'll affect the tune. But basically, high notes there, low notes there. Well, if I plunk that, you'll hear a bit of a tune. Pretty disappointing. There's not much resonance. All that's making the sound is that stick. If I put it on the tabletop though and hold it down with my other hand, it's going to make the tabletop vibrate and resonate. You'll hear, I think, a much better tune. You might even be able to recognize it. Mary had a little lamb. Not terribly thrilling, but at least a tune. We're getting somewhere. Well, you can't take a tabletop with you everywhere, but you can take a portable resonator, which is a flower pot here a hole cut out of it to let the sound out. If you put that down on a flat surface anywhere, the chamber inside there vibrates with the sound and will throw the noise out there. And let me just put my finished thumb piano up here. Ice cream sticks, wing nuts, a tunable device by pushing them in and out and see if you can recognize the tune. Here we go.